Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. Cyber warfare seems to be in the news almost every day, with South Korea being the latest victim this week that we know of. How much damage can hackers really do? And how big would the damage be? Are we talking about a potential 9-11 or worse? House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Rogers is here to brief us by phone. Chairman Rogers, welcome. Mary, thanks for having me on. Uh, you see far more intelligence than average citizens do, obviously. Yeah. Uh, can you give us a sense of how serious the threat from cyber warfare really is and the principal places that it's coming from? Yeah, it is as big a national security threat that we know about that we are not prepared to handle. When you look at countries like Iran, who have uh, shown a very devastating capability, they went after the company Aramco in Saudi Arabia, broke 30,000 of their computers, uh, and manipulated and changed data in those computers, meaning that uh, not only did they, those machines all have to be changed out as they no longer functioned, they weren't sure what data was real and not real, and it took, as you can imagine, uh, a devastating amount of time to try to put all that back together. Imagine that on a larger scale in a U.S. financial institution uh, where it could cause real chaos, hundreds of thousands of people not having access to their currency that's in their bank. Even the bank not even being aware of how much money they had or how much money uh, was reconciled to that particular individual. I mean, it is devastating stuff, and that doesn't even count uh, electric grids uh, going out uh, and all of the rest. So it is as serious as, uh, as people are saying it is. So uh, should we think about this as terrorism, just as we think of al-Qaeda as a terrorist threat? And if so, uh, should we be prepared to do preemptive strikes? And are we uh, to counter these kinds of um, serious threats to our national security. Well, I always say if you're going to punch your uh, neighbor in the nose, you might want to hit the weight room for a few months first, <laughs> get ready to go, right? You're, we're not ready yet. So, and we have a whole, there's a whole series of levels of attack. So you have political hacktivists, uh, like groups like Anonymous. You have criminals, uh, small-time criminals trying to steal your personal data using the Internet. Then you have organized criminals, much like we see in Eastern Europe. These are folks that were used to be former K, uh, KGB agents, taking all that knowledge and experience uh, and applying it to an organized criminal enterprise, trying to do bigger, larger, wholesale criminal events. Uh, and then you have economic espionage coming in from mainly the Chinese, uh, they're stealing intellectual property at a breathtaking pace. So Chairman, I'm glad that you raised China. Yeah. Is China cooperating with the likes of Iran and North Korea on its hack attacks on the United States? I don't believe they are. And, and here's the thing. So you have um, military attack cyber warfare is now with us forevermore. So big nation states have a cyber attack plan when it comes to military conflict. We saw the Russians use it in South Ossetia when they invaded Georgia. Uh, we know uh, through intelligence sources that the Chinese have that capability. They're not interested in that military attack unless we are engaged in conflict. Uh, we've but got but about North Korea and Iran are different because they're not rational actors like China and Russia. What, Chairman, we've got less than 30 seconds left. You've got a new bill uh, in front of Congress uh, tell us very briefly what the intent is of that bill. The intent is to share classified uh, software, uh, malware that the government collects overseas with the private sector so the private sector can protect its networks. In a nutshell, that's what it does. Well, we're going to keep an eye on that bill, and we'd certainly welcome you back on the program as it makes its way through the chamber. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Rogers, thank you so much for Thanks, being Mary. with us.